What's up guys, Debeck Sound, and welcome to part 4 of Firewatch. Basically, what happened is I got a streamer build for the game, right? And I'd done three parts on it, um, but I thought it had started, started me at the very beginning. But apparently, that is not the case, and there is a cutscene. Uh, like, there's a 15-minute a sequence before I emerge from the woods in part 1. Uh, so this is going to be part 4, but this is basically going to be day 0, so we're taking a flashback to before the the start of um, day 1 or whatever. So, uh, yeah, sorry about that, I didn't know. I, I thought in the streamer build that we were playing from the beginning of the game, but I guess not. So we're going to jump in and do that little sequence at the start of the game. Now, I wish they had told me that... Uh, I don't know. Well, it wouldn't have made much of a difference anyway, but yeah. Um, we're going to jump in now and... Yeah, hit this with a like if you want to see more Firewatch, and I will make sure to bring it to you as quickly as possible. My internet's been absolutely shit today, so it's been super annoying. I've been trying to... I was trying to stream Dying Light the following and stuff like that, but it just didn't work out, because it was just being super annoying. So I do have to start again, obviously, but um, that's fine. That's not a problem. I'm just going to do this little sequence, and then I'm going to uh, end this part here, and then I'm going to go and play through what I've already played, and then we'll get back to part 5 uh, tomorrow. Campo Santo presents. So I really liked what I played in the streamer build. It was awesome. So I'm really looking forward to see what happens in the story and how it all pans out. I'm interested to see this uh, before this story. Boulder, Colorado, 1975. So this is a while back. This is ages back. You see Julia. I don't actually, I see nothing. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. Yeah, I do. Uh, you are drunk. You, you're pretty. Uh, no, I'm gonna play it cool. I'm gonna play it cool here. What's, what's your major, bitch? <laughs> you slur the word major and it smells like Coors Light. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says. And I'm a professor. Cool, I reply. What's yours, she asks. Well, I don't know why I done that in the male voice. <laughs> What's yours, she asks. She sniffs the air. Kind of a weird thing to do. Toxicology. How dare you, ma'am. Is that a burn, you ask? She says definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings? You did. She asks you if you want to split a cheeseburger. I'm down. I'm down to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Fuck yeah, that's how you split a cheeseburger, bitch. <laughs> split a cheeseburger, and then you become their boyfriend. That's how it's done. Oh, we have this backpack. Still, we have the same backpack that we do like 20 years later or whatever. So this is like way... I don't know exactly when uh, the full game is set, but I assume it's set around now. Is this our truck? I probably should have closed the back of the door, huh? You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. <laughs> Sounds great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Doesn't get much better than that. Julia wants to get a dog. Whoa. Whoa. Things are moving a little fast here, Julia. I mean, we're just drinking beers and now all of a sudden you want a dog. I don't know if I can do that kind of commitment. There's the scruffy, undersized beagle Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. You pick up the beagle and she names him Bucket. You adopt the shepherd and name him Mayhem. I'm going with the German. Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, child, and pet all rolled into one. Fuck yeah, Mayhem. Just like you, Saber. My boy. My boy. Isn't that right? 1979. It was the... No, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna do that. Uh, you talk out on the deck. It's summer. 9.30pm and the heat still radiates, radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids? She asks. Whoa. Whoa. A dog is one thing. Kids, they're not very smart. They're good at much. 
I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple of little idiots. That'd be pretty good. <laughs> so we're gonna get married now. That moved so quick. All of that in the space of five minutes. Thorofor Trailhead. Oh, this is gonna be day one now, is it? I'm guessing this is gonna be day one. So this might be another short part after part three was pretty short too. Yikes. Is that gonna be it? It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Um, I get mad. Oh, should have ignored it. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plans from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. Definitely doing that. Come on! You look awesome. Damn right I do. Thank you. I think it was actually talking to me there as well. Not the game. Eight miles? Eight more miles? Jesus. It's so weird playing on a PlayStation controller now, because I usually play all of my games on Xbox now. Oh, well, not all of them, but most of the games at the moment that I'm playing are on Xbox, and I have the back Elite controller with the back buttons. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking mayhem at night. Damn right we do. There's a festival in town. It bring, brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife? Jesus. Mayhem runs away. Walk by the river from now on. Yeah, it doesn't sound good when you nearly get fucking stabbed. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move, you absolutely do not. Well, we can't stop her from taking her dream job, like, come on. Three times. Julia sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an, an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Oh god. This is where it's getting fucked. She was found crying in the star stairwell. Well, we're definitely going to talk about it. Oh, dementia at 41. Now that would suck. <laughs> That's dumb. Mayhem's getting older. He's got silver hair down his back and slows down at night. No, don't tell me Mayhem dies, please. Julia goes back to university. Really? With dementia? She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and is to be brought home by the police. She's devastated. She's sent home on permanent medical leave.
Her dad is at the door. She gets worse. This is fucked, man. This is really deep here. I don't like this at all. You spend your days follow- I wish that a bit this had been the streamer build. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. I think we have to move her into the home, right? Was that a bad idea? She's gonna hate us for that, isn't she? Are these decisions just gonna affect the game? Because in the streamer build, they might have just give us a set. One, I hope not, because then... This will be different from, like... My actual walkthrough so far in the streamer build. Which would kind of suck. Hello, Moose. Whoa! Whoa. Moosies. Then every other day. You slowly decide not to see your old friends that much. Oh god, we're gonna go into a deep depression here, aren't we? Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. You won't. You've always really liked Susan. <laughs> Months go by. Mayhem dies. No! <laughs> Why? Why did they have to put the dog in there? Just to break my freaking heart. Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less. And seeing her less and less makes her forget you more, you think. Summer is coming, and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. And that's where we end up here. Fire watch day one, guys. God damn it, that was... I'm guaranteeing we're, we're going to day one now, right? Man, if that adds so much more emotion to the bits that we've played already. Uh, but I kind of like that we played it first and now we're getting to look back at it. I don't know, it's kind of cool to do it both ways, right? And um, I don't know. This is going to be the end of the part, guys. That was... Oof. I'm playing on PS4 now. I, I played the streamer build on PC, obviously, because that was the only one that they had it on. So I'm playing on PS4 now, um, just because it's easier to record, I feel, and uh, I don't have to switch a lot of stuff around. So we're going to end it on that view. I hope you guys enjoyed that part. That was like a quick part. I'll probably have my face cam really small so you can see all the writing and stuff like that. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure to hit a big like. We'll be back for more uh, Firewatch after I run through uh, what I've already played. And I'll see you guys back here, hopefully, for part five. Mahalo.